I'm super excited because um, I've used some of the features just sort of getting ready for this video, but I kind of wanted them to be um, fresh even for my reactions to them. So um, I haven't necessarily used them all. Um, and so we're gonna kind of play with them a little bit. So I'm gonna jump in. I've got the release notes um, in the, uh, the description uh, down below. So if you wanna check out the release notes, you can, uh, but I'm gonna sort of go use those as a guideline to, to go through kind of what we're doing. We're not gonna hit every single thing that was released. Um, and there's some things that maybe we won't, we'll go through in some different ways. But the first one I am gonna talk about is Nanit. And so Nanit is an interesting one. Um, Nanit, for those of you that don't know, is a technology that comes out of Unreal. And I am not an Unreal specialist, so uh, take this with a grain of salt. I'm gonna try to explain it the, the easiest way that I can, um, which is um, it's a technology that if you have a, an object that has millions and millions of polygons or hundreds of thousands um, of, of, so you know, basically triangles that make up surfaces, so something that's very um, complex, um, or let's say a building, uh, that has, um, you know, not just single faces, but lots of faces behind it, curtain walls, walls, right? When we use Revit, um, you know, we're typically not doing one-sided meshes, right? 